All right, hi class. This is speech number four, digital aids. Before I like to start, I like to tell everyone to please silence all cell phones. All right, so picture yourself in a fire. Hot flames, smoke all around. What is there to protect you? It's this stuff right here, guys. This gear, such as your jacket, your pants, and your helmet. I'm gonna go over these three types of material that are going to, also called personal protective equipment, also known as PPE, that are going to save your life. So, I'm going to first start with the pants. It's hard to see a little bit, but as the pants I have on, the pants are all for saving ourselves with fire. So when we walk into the building, we don't get burnt with fire. Uh, it's pretty common sense. Also, there's also a lot of other uses for the pants, such as the thermal barrier inside the pants to keep the water moisture out. So when we get wet, we don't get steam burns on our legs. <clears throat> the suspenders make them nice and stretched so that fit for you and only you. Pants shouldn't be too baggy, and pants should also be tested every six months or after every use of the fire. Make sure they they work properly. Next, I'm going to go on to the helmet. I don't have the helmet due to the fact that I'm not at work. I'm actually home on leave right now. So I'll just talk about what it would do. So you have your helmet on, and your helmet's hard, and it's... Everyone's seen a fire helmet because everyone was a little kid and put one on before. Uh, the helmet's used for falling debris to make sure uh, <coughs> it doesn't fall on the back of your back of your neck or hard objects fall on your head and hit you. There. We also wear helmets for many other uses, starting up tools, equipment, just your basic everyday activities with anything. Fire helmets are NFPA required for any physical activity with equipment, tools, or rescue operations. So we always have to wear a helmet. Helmets have a certain amount of force. Pretty sure it's 50 pounds of pressure. Don't quote me on it. I can figure it out then. Helmets were uh, always been modified. Before, firefighters never really had helmets. They just burned in the buildings. And then every year they kept just getting better and better. And this year, Globe made a new helmet where it hangs it hangs down on your neck, down towards your neck, so no, no ash or steam can get into your neck. Most of the helmets we have nowadays in the Air Force, you, you can still get steam burns on the back of your neck. Lastly, I'm going to cover the jacket, which is right here. Alright, so here's the jacket. The jacket's really important because, like I said, it, it withstands fire, it blocks out the water, and also our jacket can help save our lives or another firefighter's lives. We have the DRD system in these. It's the drag system, for people that don't know. It's a little rope that goes in between your arms, and then there's a little hook right here on the back. And the reason why it's there is if you fall down or you get hurt and we can't, we can't find you or we need to get you out, we can just hook a rope onto your drag system and pull you out of the building. So, the jacket's used for many ways. Here's the jacket. Uh, here's the thermal barrier that blocks out the water keeps all the moisture out. Here's the outer shell which is pretty much the fire. It's pretty tough to handle pretty much anything. You can go through some fire. It can withstand up to 500 degrees for 15 minutes. That's how hot this gear can withstand. Um, I pretty much went over all the basic requirements for this PPE and why we have it. Uh, if you ever feel like you think you can try this or if you get a chance to go to a fire station please try on the PPE because it's awesome and you guys will like trying it on I swear. Thank you class this is the end of my speech. Have a great day.